So Damiano, Q4 last year, Airspan made a really key strategic acquisition. I was hoping you could give me an update on how the integration is going. So in Q4, we acquired uh, Mimosa Networks based out of Santa Clara in, uh, in Silicon Valley. Um, great company with great technology uh, in point-to-point -point and point-to-multipoint, uh, lightly licensed and licensed solutions. Um, and it's been great. It's, uh, we've been able to integrate completely. We've been able to leverage their product portfolio for our existing customers and look at how our existing product portfolio can look to serve Mimosa's existing uh, customers. And, and uh, we're, we're really on all fronts uh, following up on those, those opportunities. So it's, it's been great. So Jamie, as Damiano mentioned, Mimosa does have a large existing customer base. How does the combination with Airspan better suit uh, you to address their needs. Yeah, it's you know it's it's more than a hypothetical because we've already seen it almost on day one. The scale and the customer base that Airspan has had has been able to already take advantage of our products, and we've introduced those products um, under the new name iBridge uh, with Airspan, and that that whole point to point and point to point to multi point product line has been able to be deployed almost instantly in the field in their small cell backhaul kind of scenario. So that sh that side has been an incredibly incredibly good for our growth. Um, and on the flip side, you know, we're mostly a channel company, so I think there's big benefit as to the kinds of things we can do with Airspan products that have really only been to the top tier carriers in the past, but now we can make them more accessible to other carriers that haven't been able to get things like LTE into the market very easily, and that's something that we really understand well at Mimosa, is how to deal with these smaller carriers and deal with a channel sale. Yeah, and can you expound a little bit on that, Damiano? As you said, it's a strong focus on channel-based sales. So in the larger context of Airspan, what does that mean? So there's a, there's a, a, a key thing which is happening in, in a lot of channel markets in terms of LTE. It's becoming more accessible. It's becoming more accessible because there's Spectrum, which is now being made available either via you know, CBRS or other lightly licensed programs in you know, Japan. It's a market where there is now can be an ecosystem. And so what we're doing and how we're making this possible is we're making it light enough so that a channel-based model can take a complicated solution and we, and we make it simple and accessible. So not only WISP kind of applications, but private enterprise LTE, these sort of things can, can really benefit from having a, a large channel base uh, of, of, our, of our broad portfolio of products, which uh, you know, can serve everything from a private enterprise to a tier one carrier. So it sounds like with the combination, you're in a really good place to address a wide swath of market needs. Yeah, very much. And I think the one thing I would say is the things that we've learned about what's necessary for mainstream carriers to take this on, we've improved our product massively to, to be able to satisfy that and introduce it to them. That's going to pay dividends back with the wireless ISPs are going to take advantage of that better quality, both hardware as well as much more sophisticated software integration just to make the simplicity happen. Magic that we want of easy, easy connectivity is very difficult. And that's something that we, I think we've accomplished together in a very short amount of time already in about four months. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for taking the time to give us an update. Thank you, Thank Sean. you very much.